your 200th victory as an Aberdeen manager, up to third place, it's a good afternoon's work. Yeah, listen, uh, delighted with the outcome of the game. Um, we spoke pre-match about how challenging these conditions were going to be. Um, not only had the wind to contend me, but the pitch totally dried out. It was a bit dry and bobbly and really difficult for the players. Both sets of players, it was a challenge. I played in dozens of games like that where there's no enjoyment for the game. The enjoyment comes for the result and that's how we're feeling now. The enjoyment comes now and that's a tough afternoon for the players there and we've uh, managed to uh, uh, tough it out and work our way through it and get the desired outcome, which is so important. This is December in Scottish football. It's no always... It's not always easy, it's not always enjoyable, um, but the enjoyment, as I say, comes from the fact that we've got the job done. The squad's stretched at the minute and everybody's uh, pulling their weight here to get the job done and get winning performances and thankfully we've managed to do that today. How important was it getting that equaliser just before half time? Well, I think it was. It changes the narrative slightly a wee bit about how we spoke about. We were still no... I wanted us to play, take more responsibility. I think that the conditions mean you have to play more basics, be more pragmatic. Um, and uh, be more responsible and make sure we don't um, cause our own problems. And that was totally what we did for the goal. You know, we, we um, were no right from the throw in. We give away a needless free kick, it allows St Johnston yet again another chance to sail a ball into our box. And we don't defend it well. I mean, it's quite freakish the way it's headed into the ground and how it can bounce up over Joe. That's maybe an indication of how dry and hard the pitch was. And, um, you know, so we, we have it all to do. The reaction of the team was good, and obviously it's a a fantastic uh, equaliser for us with a penalty kick um, and you know the penalty I'd be disappointed I'd be, if I was Callum I'd be disappointed with the actual decision I'm equally as frustrated and disappointed that the handball wasn't given prior I mean we've been the victim of that uh, on numerous occasions and um, and only recently so you know that for me is a handball in the true sense of the word if that's what we've been given against so although he never gave it for that um, you know I can understand maybe Callum's frustrations we all haven't been the victim of that um, half time we spoke about um, being more responsible, dealing with the conditions better, being more pragmatic, being more aggressive with work. We switched Matty and Johnny around just to try and get a wee bit more impetus to drive in the pitch, to try and get a wee bit more of a flow, because we were totally dependent on getting those crosses in and I felt we were a wee bit stodgy. Uh, I think Johnny and Matty both enjoyed playing on their opposite sides and I thought we started the second half brilliantly and got our um, deserved second goal. And from then on in, up until the last throw in from them, the long throw in, uh, where we Stevie in the early next one, uh, I thought we were comfortable throughout the second half. Big Ash has been getting a lot of plaudits for his defensive work. It was nice for him to get plaudits for scoring the winning goal today. Do you want no before time, Ash Taylor? You know he's um, he doesn't get the credit that he's uh, that he should do at times. He's had three outstanding performances back to back. He's been part of a really strong unit from us. We're disappointed that unit. Um, having lost another goal, it could have been four clean sheets we were searching for the day, and he's been a huge part of that. So, regardless of his goal, and it's great that he gets goals because they do need to contribute to our centre backs when they go up. Um, uh, you know, not not before uh, 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 long enough now that he should be getting more credit because he was outstanding again today. And it was a type of game where we had to stand up to a lot of set plays, a lot of direct play. Um, and obviously you can say that happened be suit big ash, but he's still got to go and do it and be competitive. And he was part of a back three that it did particularly well again. Livingston next, and they've managed to get themselves another victory under David Martindale. They're going really well. So we know it's always tough at Tony Macaroni, but we've got a good record down there. And David's making this management look easy. I mean, it's going to be tough. Uh, they're obviously playing with a lot of confidence, playing with bags of spirit. I believe it was a last-minute winner again today. Um, and that's no by coincidence, you know, that's, you know, late winners, you know, we always feel that about ourselves, about the spirit, the fitness of the team, the desire of the team. So it's going to be tough, you know, regardless when you play Livingston, um, certainly away from home, it's always a tough match. Um, it, it isn't always pretty, it's, the pitch is tight, the pitch is short, it's, the, uh, the, the, the players need to get used to the, the conditions, the pitch and maybe if there's one like this again the, uh, that is today. So sometimes December, Scottish football, you've just got to do what you need to do, but certainly with the confidence they've got, it'll be a tougher game. But again, we believe we can win. We're third in the league now um, and uh, we, we're enjoying being there. We're now exactly halfway through the season. Um, so th sitting at 38 points, I think it is, is a decent return. We're well on track for trying to get that. Uh, securing a European, sp uh, Euro European spot. But the, the potential of this team, I believe, if we can get our strongest players available and best players available for as long as we can, and we have a good January, we've got a lot to be looking forward to in the second half of the season, and hopefully we can start that off with a win at Livingston. Well done today. Cheers, thanks.